Hey. So it's Morgan and Tyler. Hello. Um, we decided to do a little um, demonstration of how he gets into the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only our second, his second time of doing it. So it may be a little rough, but how do you do it? Uh, well, I just transfer from my manual chair down to the little lounge chair. Uh, we put a towel on it so that, you know, I don't slip through the little slats. And then uh, another towel to sit on on the edge of the pool. And then I just kind of one step my way down till I'm in the water. That's pretty much it. Okay, so here we go. By the way, I'm a C6 quad. Um, no function below my chest. Uh, very, very limited hand function in my right hand and almost no function in my left hand. But I do have good tricep function. So I'm gonna scoot over to where my butt's like right over my little cushion towel. Get my feet kind of out of the way so when I get down there, they're not bunching me up, causing spasms and all of that. And Morgan's sitting here, she's gonna like off-weight the chair so that it doesn't flip on me. And I just one knuckle down. Yeah. Safe and safe. Now I just inch my way down. So the first couple of steps, there's still a lot of uh, still a lot of gravity playing. It's not getting off weighted by the water yet, but by the third and fourth step, I really don't have to worry too much about my weight, my butt sitting on the concrete. So I just go really easy through the first couple and by the time I'm down there, there's really no pressure, so. And that's it. In Woo! there like swimwear. <laughs> You want to explain how you get around the pool? Yeah, so as an effort to not die, <laughs> like to hang on to the edge, um, and it's not too deep through here, but I don't want my knees to scrape the concrete wall too much. So I've got one hand on and I'm kind of pushing my knees and the rest of my body like away from the wall so that's not just dragging and scratching my knees. Okay, so a couple of things I want to address uh, about like getting in and out of a pool and while you're in the pool and things to think about. Number one, go pee before you get in the pool because it is not easy to get out of the pool. Um, but just go pee before you get in so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, that happened to us last time. I had to go and like by the time I was back into my chair, I was exhausted. No way I was going to want to do that again. Uh, Another thing, uh, pace yourself. Uh, so if you spend a lot of energy like in the pool, swimming and going and going and you're tired, it's gonna make getting out uh, really difficult. I mean, if you have a couple of people with you, like just have them pick you up and put you back on your chair. But for us, we like to try to, you know, have Morgan be like my safety net, uh, but me just push and see how independently I can do certain things. Uh, and Morgan's just kind of there to stand by. But if I am swimming and moving and going and all this stuff nonstop, I'm not gonna have the energy and strength to get back out. Um, I always tell people that I talk to about, you know, stay fit, stay strong, because if I wasn't as fit as I am, and I'm not saying I'm some super fit guy, but <laughs> if, I didn't, if I didn't work out the way I do, and if I didn't, you know, make sure that I was strong, like in the gym or, just exercise pushing or whatever, I wouldn't be able to get myself off of my chair, back onto my chair and things like that. Uh, and I'm off my chair all the time. You know, I want, I, I want to know I've got the confidence to get away from my chair if I need to, get back onto my chair if I need to. Um, so something else, uh, while, like while I was swimming, I, it's, makes me kind of uneasy, but I'm kind of that person that like pushes that, that level anyway. Um, because I was hurt in a, in a water accident. Um, but even with that discomfort or that, you know, fear or anxiety about swimming or whatever, uh, just stay calm. You know, if you lose, you lose touch 
with the wall or you kind of start flailing, just stay calm and just keep doing what you got to do. Um, but while I'm swimming, I take a deep breath before I start going and I hold that breath as I'm swimming and my lungs filled with air kind of help hold me up. Um, and then of course, if my air runs out, I exhale, take another deep breath and just keep going. Um, and that's not the best way to do it, I guess. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know, but I know it works. Uh, this, and like I said, like Morgan said earlier, this is only the second time we've ever done this. So it's together. pretty new. Um, but you know, we, we do so many other things that like, you learn these foundational things and you learn what to watch out for and you can just apply those fundamentals to other things, you know, so figuring out how to get into a pool wasn't, wasn't that hard for us. Um, another thing, there's a lot of concrete, you know, and I mentioned as you're like coming down, like I'm not going to stay on these steps long. I'm going to take my time, land easy and all that stuff. Like while I'm sitting on these steps, I don't like for my butt to be touching anything. You know, now is a good chance for me to be doing something and I'm not sitting or laying down. Now I can kind of just let my butt rest, you know, get pressure off of it. So I'll like to sit kind of on, on my hip a little ways, uh, maybe even like lower hip, like on my thigh, uh, kind of prop up on my elbow, but I'm constantly moving around. Uh, I'm never sitting still, never uh, like letting pressure be on one place for too long, um, just just for the sake of moving, you know, I'm not, not consciously doing a weight shift or anything like that. I'm just changing my position because I'm active and I'm moving and I don't want to sit still anyway. We'll definitely show you how we get out. That's the hard part. Uh, and it, the first time we did this, I spent about 10 minutes in the heat, just exhausted, couldn't figure out how to get out. Um, and we just kind of went for this weird roll up <laughs> thing. You'll see, that's, that's how we'll do it here in just a little bit. but. Uh, I was having a hard time getting from the from the edge of the pool, the floor, the concrete, up to the little lounge chair. So uh, that's a tough one. Another thing, also the heat, obviously that's a big concern for the spinal cord injury disability community. It's something that I deal with. I live in South Arkansas, Central Arkansas, and it is hot. I mean, we touch triple digits, you know, for. Uh, a couple of weeks during the summer, you know, um, it gets hot, really hot here. So I always manage, you know, how much time I'm gonna be outside. In a pool, you don't have that problem. Um, I was kind of still worried, you know, like with my head and shoulders exposed or whatever, that it would still be uncomfortable, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable at all. I mean, it's a pretty mild day to day, but the last time we were in the water, it was- It was hot. It was extremely it was hot. hot. Uh, but we didn't have any trouble with the heat. Um, stayed in the pool several hours, I think. Um, no problems. So um, being in a pool is just an awesome experience. Uh, I didn't didn't ever get into a pool, especially not independently. You know, as a recreational thing uh, after my injury, and then I did this, and it was just such a cool experience. You know, finally, like I'm moving around. You know, unassisted. Um, and gravity is not too much of a factor, so it's it's a cool sensation. It's great to get uh, pressure off your backside and all of that, but just to stretch and relax, you know, and just do something different. We enjoy doing different things and just got to get creative, you know, like Morgan <laughs> loves to be in the pool. I don't like to be out in the heat, so I have to get in the pool if I'm going to go to the pool with her. Um, so we just had to get creative and... Um, Fitness, being healthy and being strong and being active paired with creativity really helps with the, the independence of recreation. One very, very crucial thing, don't ever do this alone. Yeah, don't do that. I wouldn't <laughs> do that and I'm I'm kind of too much of a go-getter you, for myself you in are. dangerous situations, but I always tell people that I'm mentoring like, you don't really know what you're capable of until you have no choice. But this like, is not one of those that you need to do that. No, it's not. It's last, not. Last time she went to the bathroom and by the time she'd come back out, I had like made my way all the way around to the deep end of the pool. We'll show you here in just a sec how we get out of the pool. What'd you just do? I swam. How far did you swam? Uh, two, 300 yards. No. The entire length of the pool. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Had to get to the sunshine. It was shady over there. All right, so I'm gonna try to get out now. Uh, this is only the second time we've ever done this. So bear with me. 
try to get up these steps. Same way I came down them. Just kind of reach up for the step above me. Once I get a little higher, I'm gonna set my feet up a step. That way my butt doesn't seem so heavy. I get my feet to my butt, the easier it is to move my butt and not feel like I'm getting tangled up. And you know what I should have finished that with? What? Should have been like, and I'm gonna take my horse. <laughs> oh my god. No, you still filming? Yeah. No. <laughs>